Hello and welcome to your exclusive Hydro Pool Swim Spa Beginner Workout Program. I'm Jody, and I will be taking you through your workout today. For our 30 minute beginner workout, we are going to focus on improving your balance and mobility while increasing aerobic fitness level. This workout is perfect for someone who is returning to exercise or for seniors looking to stay active. The goal of the beginner program is to provide an opportunity to increase your heart rate while gently activating some of your major muscle groups. If you are wearing your heart rate monitor, we will be working in the 60 to 80% of your max range. If not, don't worry about it. I'll talk you through how each exercise should feel. We're going to start with a five minute warm up in your swim spa. Make sure you have your noodle and the gloves close by, as well as some water to keep you hydrated. Congratulations on getting into your swim spa. For our warm up, we're gonna start with some light walking. Feeling how nice that water feels. Just imagine you're walking on land, but you're lucky enough to be in your very own hydro pool swim spa. We spend about five minutes getting warmed up, connecting with your breath, taking the opportunity to get your muscles moving, letting them know that some activity is coming. Let's start by taking a nice deep inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. We've got our gloves on. These will help us with balance throughout your workout. So at any time, if you feel a little bit unstable, feel free to just skull with your gloves. Now's a really great opportunity to take some time and think about your goals. Why did you get into your swim spot today? What is it that you're working towards? Let's take a little bit of a seat so our shoulders come underneath the water. We're gonna call this our neutral position. So our feet are about hip distance apart and you're sitting nice and heavy in your heels. From here, let's take your arms nice and wide. Remember, thumbs up always. Bringing your palms together and then spreading them out nice and wide. Palms come together, spreading them out nice and wide. Working through our range of motion in our shoulders. We'll spend another 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna move into some squats. So for our squats, we're gonna take our legs nice and wide. Let's bring our hands to what we call the prayer position. Pressing your heels into the floor, come on back up to that standing position. Take a big inhale as you sit down and exhale to press up. And remember to breathe. Doesn't the water feel great? It's okay if you start to feel a little burning in your legs. That's okay. Feel free to go at your own pace. Coming back to the neutral position, bringing your shoulders underneath the water, we're just gonna start to step one leg out to the side at a time. Starting to work through our balance. And again, remember, you can skull. Connect with your breath. Take the opportunity to enjoy your very own personal gym. One last exercise before we get moving. Our lunge takes place with our left foot forward and our right foot back. Then we're gonna switch it up. Right foot forward, left foot back. Use your arms to skull to help you out here. Think about sucking your belly button into your spine to help engage your core. Shoulders stay over top of your hips. If at any point that this feels like too much, Feel free to just keep your legs right where they are, pulse up and down. Sculling or hands on your hips, whatever works for you. And breathe. Our workout today will be about 30 minutes in length. Let's get started.
push-up is an entry-level opportunity to start working through some of your chest and shoulder muscles. We're going to grab onto the exercise bar at the front of your swim spot. Your key here is to keep your shoulders directly over top of your hips, sucking in through your belly button to engage your core. Think about pressing your hips forward and that will help you squeeze through your glutes to keep a nice, tight core. Inhale as you come down towards the exercise bar and exhale to press up. Push-ups are a very basic way to measure our fitness level. Today, you might be able to do 10. In six weeks, you'll find you can do as many push-ups as your heart desires. Working out in the water is a great, low-impact, entry-level way to restart your fitness routine. If you're starting to feel any pain in your shoulders, remember, burn pain is good, out pain, bad. If you want to make this exercise a little less intense, bring your feet slightly farther forward to the front of the swim spot decreasing the range of motion. Inhale forward, exhale back. Let's do three, two, and one. A great beginner core workout is a seated knee tuck. So we'll start at the seat end of the swim spa and just begin by bringing your knees up towards your chest. As you extend your legs out in front of you, gently lean back to about a 45 degree angle. Exhale to bring your knees up towards your chest. We're using our hands face down on the swim spa seat for stability. Remember the goal of our beginner workout program is to just get things moving. This is a great place to start. If you feel like you're ready to increase the intensity, think about bringing one leg out at a time and switching it up to a bicycle. Keep your feet flexed here. And breathe. Really think about pressing the water away from you, using the water's resistance to increase the intensity. Want to make it a little harder? Let's go a little faster. Doesn't the water feel good? A low impact way to get your core moving. Let's go for another three, two, and one. Our beginner level squat starts by holding onto the exercise bar. Take your legs slightly wider than hip distance and sit gently into your heels, bringing your shoulders underneath the water. Pressing your heels into the bottom of the swim spa floor, come back to a standing position. This is your squat. Squat is great for working muscles like the glutes, hamstrings, and the quads. Helps us sit down and get up out of our chair, get in and out of the car, as well as in and out of bed. Squats are also great for keeping our hips moving. and a really low impact for anybody who might have knee pain. Go at your own pace. Our goal is to get our heart rate up here somewhere 60 to 70% of our max. Working at a level that slightly increases your heart rate. Inhale to come down, exhale to press up. See if we can do five more. Four and five. Our beginner lunge starts by facing the side of your hydro pool swim spa. Holding onto the exercise bar, take one foot forward and one foot back. Shift your body weight so that there's an equal amount of weight between your front leg and your back leg. 
Shoulders are directly over top of your hips. Your key here is to bend through both the front and the back legs, inhaling as you come down and exhaling to press up. You wanna find that sweet spot so that your back leg is like the engine and your front leg is like the steering wheel. Power through that back leg. If you're starting to feel a little bit of a burn, that's okay. It means it's working. Think about what made you get in your swim spot today and how good you're gonna feel when you're done. About halfway through, we're gonna switch sides. Let's do two more here. Now let's switch legs. So take your right foot forward and your left foot back. Let's make sure our shoulders are directly over top of your hips bending through both legs, ensuring that the power is coming from your back leg here. You wanna feel a little bit of a burn. A lunge is really great for increasing mobility in your hips. Remember, our goal is to just keep moving. Let's do another three, two, and one. Side leg raises start in the standing set position, shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles. Shift your body weight into the right side, flex through your left foot, and lift your left leg out to the side. This is an opportunity for you to increase your range of motion in your hip adductor muscles. Here, we wanna inhale as the legs come together and exhale to press the leg up. Making sure you keep your foot flexed here to really get the most out of this exercise. About halfway through, we'll switch sides. Let's do two more. Now, take your body weight into that left leg, flex through your right foot, and extend your right foot out to the side. Remember your posture. Shoulders are over your hips. Our workout in the Hydro Pool Swim Spa is great for improving posture because we're constantly working to improve our core stabilizer muscles. Inhale as you extend your leg out. Exhale to press it back together. Two more. And two. Our side leg cross starts in a standing set position. Shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles. We're gonna keep our toe pointed as we extend our leg out to the side. To return your leg back to center, flex through your foot and cross it over your body. Point through your toe to extend, flex, and cross. Here, we're using the hip adductor muscles to bring your leg back in front of you. This is working our inner thighs. Remember, the goal of our workout program in the beginner stage is just to work on returning to exercise and continuing to move. Whatever pace works for you is great. About halfway through, we're gonna switch and turn around to face the opposite side of our swim spot. Here, shifting your body weight into the right side, start by pointing through that left foot, extending it out beside you, flexing to cross it in front of the opposite leg. Point and flex. Inhale as your leg comes wide, exhale to bring it in front of you. Remember that standing set position, building nice strong core muscles. Shoulders over hips, over knees, over your ankles. Let's do three. Two, and one. The skateboard exercise starts in a standing set position. I like to use my gloves here to help with stability. Shift your body weight into your right leg and bring your left knee up so that your leg's at about a right angle. Extend through that left leg and sweeping your toes along the swim spa floor, kick your legs straight back and you'll feel it engage your glutes. Return to that set position with your knee in line with your hips. Extend your leg straight out, and that heel comes back up towards your glutes. Here we go. You'll start to see why it's called the skateboard. Nice straight leg as you pedal along the swim spa floor. You may find that you're starting to feel a little bit short of breath here. That's okay. If you're wearing your heart rate monitor, you may start to see that number increase. 
Maybe we can get up to 70% of our max. Let's pick up the pace. In five, we'll switch sides. Shifting your body weight into that left leg, let's bring your right knee up so that it's in line with your hips. Don't stop sculling. Extend that right foot out in front of you, sliding your right foot along the swim spa floor, skateboard in the other direction. Remember, taking your body weight into one leg is helping increase not only our balance, but our flexibility and our mobility as well. We're gonna finish it off here in three, two, and one. Now it's time to work through our calf raise. We're in our standing set position and holding onto the exercise bar. Pressing the balls of your feet into the swim spa, lift up through your heels. At first, this might feel like a simple movement. After a few reps, you'll really start to feel it in your calves. The muscles in our calves are often ignored. This is why it's really important to include the calf raise as part of your beginner workout program. Inhale as you come down and exhale to press up. You'll start to find at the minute mark that you're really burning. If you need to take a break, feel free to go at your own pace. If you want to increase the intensity, shift your body weight into one leg and go single leg at a time. Remember, this is your workout. Relax through your shoulders and find your breath. Let's go for another three, two, and one. This is one of my favorite exercises. It really works the booty. Shoulders over hips over knees over ankles starts by shifting your body weight into one leg. Flexing through your foot, extend your leg straight back behind you and then return to your standing position. Your goal here is to try to keep your hips in line with the swim spa jets. Your range of motion is unique to you, so be careful not to hyperextend through your hips. Remember, you want a little bit of burn pain, but no out. Inhale as your leg extends back behind you. Exhale to return to standing. Let's switch sides. Shift your body weight into the right side and kick your left heel back behind you. You should soon start to feel this firing up through your glutes. You'll likely want to feel your shoulders coming forward. Remember, Core engagement and good posture keeps your shoulders directly over top of your hips. Let's do three, two, and one. So for the biceps curl, I'm holding onto the fan paddles. I've got them open for the lowest level of intensity. If you feel like you need to increase, just close your fan paddles to add more resistance to the water. Start with your palms facing each other. Thumbs up. Slice the fan paddles directly behind you and then turn your palms so that they're facing the swim jets. With your torso at a 45 degree angle, bring your palms up towards your shoulders and then twist so your thumbs are up to slice back. Our goal here is to work through the biceps. Strengthening our biceps is really important for our everyday functional fitness. It helps us with things like picking up the groceries, picking up our kids, or even our grandchildren. Turn your palms to face towards the swim spa, and then again, slice straight back. For the biceps curl, we're in our squat position, shoulders in a neutral position, just underneath the water. Inhale as you extend your arms straight back, turn the fan paddles to face the swim jets, Exhale, bring the fan paddles up towards the sky. Anytime you want to increase the intensity, just pick up your pace. 
Let's do another three. Two. And one. For our lateral raise, we're starting in an open stance. One foot forward, one foot back. I've got the fan paddles open, as this exercise can tend to be a little bit more challenging. Start with your palms facing you. Take a big inhale as you slice the fan paddles high and wide. Turn your palms to face up as you return them to the center. Palms face you. Exhale, lift the fan paddles high and wide. Thumbs up, slice the fan paddles back towards you. Here we go. Our position here, shoulders over hips, one foot forward, one foot back. We're using the resistance against the water to work our deltoid muscles. These are the muscles in the shoulder which protect our rotator cuff. Inhale down, exhale, press up. If at any point your front leg gets tired, just switch legs. If you feel like you're ready to increase the intensity, you can add in that ski, alternating one at a time. Let's do three, two, and one. For our front raise to pull down, we're using the fan paddles, and we're gonna start in a neutral position, shoulders down. Nice open stance. I'm gonna start with my palms facing back behind me. Inhale as you bring the fan paddles up in line with your shoulders, and exhale, press those fan paddles down. This is a combo exercise, so we're working both for the push down and the pull up. Keeping your core nice and tight, shoulders over top of your hips. Don't forget to use your breath. Fan paddles open is the least challenging. If you wanna increase the intensity here, feel free to tighten up those fan paddles. If one foot gets tired, switch sides. challenging workout. Inhale, elbows wide. Exhale, press out. This exercise is great for strengthening both the back and shoulder muscles. Hang in there for another three, two, and one. Triceps kick bag is a great way to tone up through your arms. Starting in a neutral position, let's come down into a squat. Turning your palms to face down towards the floor and keeping your elbows nice and tucked in, we're gonna extend straight back, resisting the water. Thumbs up towards the sky is how we slice to return in this exercise. Palms face down, press back. Thumbs up for the slice. Our torso here is about 45 degrees, which means your shoulders are in front of your hips. Inhale as you extend your arms up towards your shoulders. Exhale as you press the water away from you. Remember, thumbs up as you return. If you've been working towards toning those arms for summer, this will do it. Palms press down and away. The faster you go, the more challenging it becomes. Take your time and move at your own pace. Just picture those tone sculpted arms. Inhale up, exhale, press back for another five. Three, two, 
three, two, and one. For our chest flies, we're starting in an open stance. Gloves on, one foot forward in front of the other. Palms are facing down towards the bottom of the swim spa. Take your arms nice and wide before turning your thumbs up. Take a big inhale. Exhale, bring your palms forward, then palms down to slice wide. Keeping your shoulders directly over top of your hips. Inhale, palms down. Exhale, bring them back together. Try to keep your shoulders underneath the water. And go at your own pace. Remember, the goal of our beginner program is to keep moving. So whatever pace works for you here is great. If you want to increase the intensity, feel free to add in a ski. A ski is when we alternate, kicking one foot forward while bringing the other foot back. This is one of my favorites. Belly button in helps engage your core. And remember to breathe. Let's do another 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one. For the reverse fly, we've got our gloves on and we're in a squat position. Shoulders are just underneath the water and feet are a little bit wider than hip distance apart. Starting with your thumbs facing up and palms together, take your hands nice and wide. Turn your palms to face down and slice your hands across the water as you return to center. Exhale as you take your hands wide. Inhale to bring them back to center. Here, we're working through the back muscles. Inhale forward, exhale back. If the resistance of the water is too much with your gloves, feel free to remove your gloves and just do this exercise with your hands. strengthen your core stabilizer muscles. We're going to start with our shoulders just underneath the water and our legs nice and wide. Twisting side to side at your own pace. We're starting to fire up through our abdominals and our obliques. Strengthening the core is so important if you're suffering with lower back pain or if you're having trouble getting in and out of the tub. Remember to use your breath as you swing your arms side to side. Let your shoulders lead the way and your eyes will follow. Two, three, two, and one. The wood chopper starts with our palms facing together and our gloves on. Shoulders are directly over top of your hips and we're in our open stance. We're gonna start with one side at a time. So if you've got your left foot forward, you're gonna twist to the left side. If you're training in the off season, this is an awesome opportunity to strengthen your oblique muscles for your golf swing. Let your shoulder lead the way and your eyes will follow. Let's switch sides. So bring that right foot forward and your left foot back or switch wherever you start it. Palms are facing together. Now we're gonna turn to the right side. Remembering your breath, Take this opportunity to think about why you hopped in your swim spot today. Focus on your goals. In our beginner program, our goal is to keep moving 
while adding a little bit of aerobic activity to our day. Let's go for three, two, and one. Our bicycle. We're gonna start in the standing set position. Let's just practice by sculling our gloves in the water. Shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles. Gently shift your body weight into the right side and bring your left knee up so it's directly in line with your hip. Flexing through that left foot, extend your leg out in front of you and kick it right back behind you. Slowly bring your left knee up, again in line with your hip. It's just like you're riding a bicycle. They say that you never forget. Hopefully you never forget the first time you worked out in your new Hydro Pool Swim Spa. Knee up, extend your leg out, and kick right back. One of the goals of our beginner workout program is to improve our balance. Standing on one leg helps improve your balance and mobility. Let's switch sides. Take your weight into that left foot, bring your right knee up in line with your hip. Flex through your foot. Extend your leg out in front of you and kick it straight back, bringing your heel up towards your glutes. And repeat. Whatever pace works for you here. Arms are sculling to help with your balance. Extend forward and kick back. You'll likely feel this a little bit burning in your hamstrings. That means it's working. Here we're gonna go for another four seconds. Three, two, and one. Using the noodle to add a little bit of resistance, we're going to work through what we call the lat pull down. So in our neutral position, shoulders are just underneath the water, and we're in our squat. So we seated squat. Feet are nice and wide, hips directly underneath your shoulders. Before we go, we'll take a big breath in, and exhale to bring the noodle down back behind you so that your palms come together. Core stabilization is key here to help control that noodle. Inhale as your arms come wide, and exhale, bring the noodle back and down behind you. If you're starting to feel that burn, just go to your happy place. Then again, you're in your brand new Hydro Pool Swim Spa, so this is your new happy place. Let's do another three, two, and one. Now it's time for our noodle oblique crunches. With the noodle behind you and palm facing down, we're gonna alternate lifting one knee up at a time. Gently rocking side to side. It's up to you to determine your pace here. If you're feeling like you could go a little bit more, Feel free to add in a twist. Using the noodle for stability, make sure that your feet are engaging with the floor. Heel touches the floor before the alternating foot lifts up. Are we having fun? Sort of feels like dancing in your swim spa. For three, two, and one. Okay, let's get working on that six pack. Standing set position, shoulders over hips, over knees, over ankles. Pressing your palms down towards the swim spa floor. Inhale as you come up and exhale to press the noodle down. We want to make sure that each rep we return to a full standing position. If you're feeling any instability in your lower back, make sure to suck your belly button in. Feeling that burning in your core, that means it's working. So just 
around your belly button. If you're just returning to exercise and you're moving through a smaller crunch, that's great. This is your very own personal gym and that means you can work out at your very own pace. Let's do three more. And one. Our suntan Superman is a great way to get used to the buoyancy and the water. Starting with your arms extended out in front of you, lean forward and gently lift your feet up off the back of the swim spa. This is your Superman position. Gently bringing your knees up towards your chest, we're gonna extend your legs out in front of you. We're gonna call this suntan. Can you feel the sun on your face? Bringing your knees up to your chest and extending your arms out in front of you again, we're back to our Superman. Let's start to move through it. Suntan, Superman. Suntan, Superman. If you're finding this to be, you're not quite there yet. Let's take one foot onto the swim spa floor and move one leg only. Again, this is your workout space. Make it personal to you. This full body movement is a great way to work towards our goal of improving flexibility, mobility, and balance. Let's finish off with one more. 